Good day everyone! Today, as we celebrate uh, another milestone, so we just found out we have 2,000 following. Yay! And uh, as I continue to want to share to you how I do things, uh, and I would like to share to you how I organize my supplies in Likhawe uh, from things that you can only you, not only find, but things that you could actually find here in our city, in but just right here in Butuan. So first off, I'm gonna feature first is our glass containers. So if you're familiar with this, um, it's popularly called mason jars, but these are not mason jars. These are just imitations of it, but you can find it in our local mall. And it's good for organizing uh, colored pencils, pens, and of course brushes. So, since I have kids, definitely this is not placed on my table. So this is stored together with the journaling stuff that I have in the cabin. The next item I will be showing you is one of my favorite. So, if you are class 90s or batang eh, 90s kids you're familiar with this kind of container but in a larger one this is what we usually use when we go to school and put in our pen papers and such so we have a local shop in boot one uh, specifically sun gold they sell at this size so when i saw them they just are so cute and they fit uh, the items that I usually have in my home office so I bought several of these so I'm just gonna feature uh, a few of them so I just placed labels for this one we have the Krika tools everything about my Krika machines uh, accessories are here and the good thing about this it's sealed it's not easy for my kids to reach and then I have metallic markers art line so here in bit one it's not really easy to find silver ones so i have bought this in manila but this is available in national bookstore in manila not in but one but art line gold markers are available here you can buy it at sun gold and they're very good markers actually this is what i use with my commissions when i do canvas paintings to accent uh whatever design that I have. What we have. Oh, I also have uh, for butter batteries and sharp tools. So sharp tools includes paper cutting materials, paper paper cutting knife. So I also have the refills of cutter and uh, what else? Compass and my mighty bond and battery for um, the fairy lights. So this particular paper cutting pen is what I used with my very first, very first commission. I I made 380 pieces of feathers and 90 pieces of uh, dream catchers as hanging items on uh, goodie bags. So it, what my card cut can do in several hours, I had to do it in several nights. With my first commission so but this is just handy i enjoy doing those hundreds of paper cut items then i have separate for actually i marked it with white markers but actually these are all chalk um chalk pens and markers what i use also in lettering uh, signages so it come, I just have a few colors, but I have a lots of white. And of course, there are also for the assorted, fine point assort, assorted markers. So these double points are so cheap. It costs less than 20 pesos and you can find it in Sun Gold. So if you like to journal and like markers these are good ones and what else do I have here so the usual 
fine marker pens. So this comes, this particular marker comes in different colors. So if you like to be colorful in what you are working on, these are good buys. So this particular case costs just 50 pesos. Okay, so the next ones are larger containers. And this used to be containers for my kids' clothes. But kids seems to have a lot of reason to change clothes daily. So they have already taken up our whole cabinet. And I took this for my stuff. So I have here one um, basket for sticky tapes, glue, and punchers. So for sticky tapes, you have to hide this. That's why it's here and it's out of reach of ki from kids because they like to peel it and until it's no longer usable. <laughs> well, that's for me. As my story goes and experience goes with my kids. So, so I have here um, the classic scotch tape, mask, masking tape, oh, what do you call this? Packing tape, foam, double-sided tapes. I have a lot of double-sided tapes and then masking tapes. So this is it. I keep them all here. So even if they're disorganized when you peep into it, but you just see it in the closet, in the open closet, it's neat. Punchers. So I have several punchers. These punchers are for um, edgers. So if you've seen my cards and my, and my bookmarks and tags, I like to put some cuts on the edges. Back then, I would cut it with scissors or paper cutting tools, but now I've discovered these things and I'm enjoying them so much. It's a stress, they are stress relievers as well. So, they have their own containers because they're a lot. And of course, we also have containers for glue, so all kinds of glue. Glue, colored glue, glue sticks white glue and then clear glue so i have a lot of clear glue because my kids love to stick um, things around but since it's water soluble i could either wash it if the place they are sticking onto are not supposed to be stuck with anything so and i also have uh, three beads from my kids art stuff in school so sayang naman so i keep them all here as long as meron pa sayang naman so that's okay so the next ones are cute organizers you can buy this actually at all home mm, around less than 100 for two so this is already just 100 or uh, the big ones earlier it costs less than 50 pesos. Uh, either ZZZ it's, or Sulit Moss. Okay, so what we have here, I have this um, organizers for the small stuff. So start off with the ones I have for pins. Soaked pins. I used to have a lot of pins, but I'm still trying to locate them, or some of them are still left in our ballot buying boxes in Manila since we just moved here three years ago. Uh, these are actually inspirations, and they're just lovely to look at. And also, you know, source of inspiration if I want to draw something, I could look at this or uh, try to replicate it. And then I have one, so for my tags, I cut them myself or I asked my husband to cut them. And then I just have them pre-cut so that it's easy for me when someone orders something, a gift at the Council of Reza. It'd be easy for me to, um, to draw and write their names and just put it in the gift. 
I also have ready made um, stickers for my logo here, like how it so it's pre cut. So if there's an order and it doesn't have any mark of my brand, I stick some stickers. So what I have there is here are the bigger ones. I have smaller ones as well for smaller items. So kakat ko pa yun. And just recently, after a long, after a long contemplation, actually, it's very hard for me how I'm gonna how I'm gonna phrase and uh, thank you cards. So recently, in, in, in just a few words, I think this message captures everything I want to say. So it says, it is a pleasure for us to bring joy to you one crack at a time. Thank you. So yours without wax. It carries my signature um, ending gesture and my name so if you notice still the contacts here is just my facebook and my email there's a reason for that but maybe it's an it's gonna be another story to tell so that's it. they're cute and they're very useful and the last items we have here are metal buckets so you're familiar with this you can find it in our local stores they have these things even in Izili, ZZZ so if you want to know where I go those are the stores that I go to including Sun Gold just local stores here in Butuan so I have one for clips wooden so if you notice I only have a few wooden clips already because I had a lot of orders from the Rose area thank you everyone <laughs> And then I have clips, metallic clips, includes paper clips that I use to organize paper documents as well. So, marami rami na rin siya. Then, of course, the usuals, I have one container for pen and pencil. So, this is just overhead our working table for me to easily grab a pen if I need to write something. And one for scissors and cutters so scissors and cutters are usual items that i use and i also included here punchers so i cannot just place them in containers that have locks or put them away since i use them every day so it's out of reach of kids but it's readily available for me to grab on top of my workstation so that's it for today's features that's how we do it organizing things or your office materials or art materials uh, with finds you can find in but one city so if you have any comments or you have questions or you want other things to be featured and how we do it just put your comments and your reactions on our youtube channel and our facebook page thank you everyone yours without wax likawe